you know, opening up to a new pathway where that is concerned, opening up to begin uh, uh, the uh, clearing of the pathway where that is concerned. And we come to you now, we come to you now at this wonderful, most glorious time as you are now moving through, um, continually moving through your year of 2016 to uh, moving towards having uh, the life you say you want, living the life you say you say you want, being you in the life you say you want. Uh, because what is transpiring now, dear ones, as you are coming to the close of your month of July, where that is concerned, and moving into your n- a new month of August, where that is concerned, a month of new beginnings, opening up to a, a month uh, of new beginnings, because you're now ready to clear the pathway to being you. Clearing the pathway to being you. And that is what your month of August is about where that is concerned. Are you fully being who you are? Are you fully immersed into the beingness of self? And those are the questions to ask yourself in this month of August because if in fact, dear ones, you are seeing where there are limitations of your life of being yourself, seeing where there quite possibly is still um, lingering judgment and shame where that is concerned, not meaning, dear ones, that everything will be fixed or go away or you've gotten rid of anything. It's about utilizing your tools to the fullest where that is concerned and raising your awareness and consciousness to a deeper level to the beingness of self. So the question we have for each and every one of you is, are you fully being who you are? And it is now time in this month of August to take a look at, are you being who you are? Are you living the life you say you want in the beingness of self? Are you fully embracing the self? And these are questions to ask you in your month of August, because now, dear one, based upon the answers that you give yourself, it is now time, dear ones, to clear that pathway to the beingness of self. It is not about clearing the pathway outside of yourself. It is about clearing the pathway within to the beingness of self. Because as you are being who you are, honoring and valuing the self, being who you are, you will then be in, in in a greater depth of authenticity and transparency of self. But we'd like to bring to your attention, as you ask the questions, am I fully being who I am? What, what moves within that, what moves beneath that, is judgment and shame of self. So it goes hand in hand, dear ones. The beingness of self goes hand in hand with the amount of judgment and shame is still infiltrating you and within yourself. So it is time now to take a look at that, dear ones, because in order to have what you fully say you want, it is about moving into a greater beingness of self. As you are fully being yourself, you are living your life in the truth of who you are. As we have mentioned in the past, dear one, moving into the core truth of who you are and moving out fully being who you are, and then clearing that pathway, seeing where judgment and shame still exists within you. I must be this person in order to be loved. Is that still transpiring in your life? And if it is, dear ones, simply be with that, because that is part of the clearing of the pathway towards the full beingness of self. It's not about getting rid of anything or fixing that, getting rid of that, getting rid of the judgment and shame, getting fixing yourself so the judgment and shame does not appear. The judgment and shame will come up, dear ones. But it's simply raising your awareness and consciousness that as you move on the pathway outside of yourself in the third dimensional realm and encountering new individuals, new wonderful and most glorious souls, encountering, encountering on the pathway into the unknown new opportunities, new situations in your life. As, it, as, dear one, the theme is new, 
The constant theme is new. As you move into the newness of your life, are you fully being who you are in that newness of life? As you fully honor and value and love yourself in the beingness of yourself, we ask you to take a look simply, dear ones, as you move on the pathway into the unknown, out into the third dimensional realm. Are you fully being you? Or is there judgment and shame arising? Look at a a simple relationship that you might be having that is new. Are you fully being who you are? Are you fully stating your needs, setting your boundaries? So we ask each and every one of you to do as well, dear ones, as you move into the new of life, on the pathway to fully have what you say you want. And we also ask you, dear ones, when we ask you, are you living the life you say you want, it is not so much about looking at the end of this pathway and say, when I get there, I will be living the life I say I want. You already are living that life if, in fact, you have been following, dear ones, the pathway that we are laying out for you that began in your month of January of 2016. So each month as we come to you, dear ones, it is in many ways to re- re- revise yourself, to look at your life, And ask yourself, incrementally, am I now living aspects of the life I say I want? And what still is out there that I say I want? So what we are asking and giving you, dear ones, on a month-by-month basis, are various different tools so you can open your heart space to fully have what you say you want. So in this month of August, dear one, is simply about clearing the pathway, a continuous clearing of the pathway. On a month-by-month basis, up to this very point in time, it has been a clearing of the pathway through the tools that we have been giving you to live the life you say you want in full authenticity and transparency of self. Full self-love, full self-value. So each month we come to you with a reminder, are you honoring and valuing and loving you? But it is now time, dear ones, to continually clear that pathway within of trusting yourself, trusting your value, of you as you move out into the world. How much do you value you? As you now move out to create the new life, a new life for yourself, it's all based, dear ones, of loving, honoring, and valuing you. So now we will ask you to take a look at valuing you. How much do you value you to give to the world outside of yourself? What is your what are your talents and gifts that you value? What about you do you value personally, spiritually, emotionally? What are your endeavors that you value about yourself? So as you move along clearing the pathway to full beingness of self, begin with looking at, dear ones, judgment and shame that may may, uh, surface from time to time and simply be with that. Simply notice that I am judging and shaming myself right now. Be with the feelings that are attached with judgment and shame. There is doubt. I'm feeling not good enough, not perfect enough. And simply be with that. And then look at your talents and gifts. Look at you and how much you value you. Because, dear ones, in order to have the life you say you want, it's based upon how much you value and honor you to give yourself what you say you want. So this month of August, dear ones, is about clearing the pathway. 
as you clear the pathway within, dear ones, the pathway outside of yourself will clear organically and naturally. You will see a clearing ahead as you become clear within yourself. This is who I am. This is how much I honor and value me. Do I honor and value me? Clearing the pathway as you walk on the path into the unknown. Because now, dear ones, many are walking in the unknown of life. In their powerfulness and the greatness of who they are. On a month-by-month basis, it's a step-by-step clearing within the depth and breadth of you, so you can clear the pathway outside of yourself. When you honor and value you, you will take a look at the relationships that you're having outside of yourself and simply ask yourself, Does, do those relationships and those that, the relationships that I'm having within those relationships honor and value me? Do they serve my highest good? Do they serve the vision of the life I say I want? So as you clear the pathway within, you then begin to clear the pathway outside of yourself. I honor and value me. And now I look at the relationships outside of myself. What relationships fully honor and value me? What relationships support my highest good? What relationships support the life I say I want? It is all based upon resonance and vibration. Many begin to forget resonance and vibration and paying attention to that within themselves, which is why we said to you earlier, beginning to trust yourself. I am walking on the pathway on the unknown. This opportunity comes along. Does it resonate and vibrate with me? Am I trusting the resonance and vibration within me? Because as we said to you many, many times before, dear ones, the relationships that you're having with those outside of yourself are simply in a relationship with how you honor and value yourself, based upon your resonance and vibration, based upon where you are resonating and vibrating. So look at the relationships on your pathway now as you encounter them. Are you creating old aspects of the old relationships that are based upon the old you? Simply because you are familiar with them and familiar how with that makes how that works. Or are you now opening your heart space, honoring and valuing and loving you, looking at the life you say you want? and looking at the relationships that you're having outside of yourself, and ask yourself, do those new relations represent the old because I am familiar with them, or am I opening my heart space to something new based upon the relationship that I am now having with myself? So we ask you, dear ones, what is that relationship you are having with yourself. It is a more loving, accepting relationship with self. Honoring and valuing you and saying to yourself now, it is important for me to have the life I say I want. It is important for me to connect with those, those opportunities outside of that support my highest good. Because, dear ones, as you move in this progression of relationships outside of yourself, you will then begin to form a more authentic and truthful soul family that is based upon a higher vibration of resonance of fully loving, honoring, and valuing the self. We also ask you to look at communication in this month of August and how you are communicating outside of yourself with others. Is it a loving communication? Are you inviting others into your life? Are you projecting outside of yourself? 
if you begin to look at communication and how you're communicating with others outside of yourself, you will then see, dear ones, if you are fully, if you are pushing your energy or pulling your energy, projecting onto others. Or is your communication based upon the depth and breadth of you honoring and valuing you? So as you move through this month of August, dear ones, you are beginning supported by energies outside of your yourself where that is concerned. And in this month, you will be supported by the Orion energy and the Syrian energies that best support this aspect of your process, that best support the individuals who are moving through this process, that best supports, dear one, the teachings that we are bringing you and supporting your guidance and your support of others. So it's important now, dear ones, as you move through this year of 2016 and into the new month of August, dear ones, it is about simply asking yourself, Do I honor and value me? It is time now, dear ones, to to continue clearing the pathway within you so the pathway outside of yourself will become more clear and you will have a greater clarity of the life you say you want.